Hello friends, myself Rakesh. Welcome back to UiPath Expo Hub to another new chapter of learning how to add multiple uses to orchestrate right this is one of the thing that you might be wondering how do i add multiple uses to orchestrate so this is quite simple all you have to do log into platform.uipad.com or cloud.uipad.com and then click on admin okay so once you click on admin here you have the option called uses click on this and then on the top you will find option of inviting users right so after this i'm going to show you a few more things so here all you have to do is type in the email address of the user whom you would like to add okay so let me add my another so you can add your friend or anybody who would like to be part of this orchestrator so right now i will just do it to another email of mine but again there is no use this is, this is just for a demo purpose okay so let me add this and let me assign let's say group membership administrator i'm making it and then let me invite so the moment uh, i do this what would happen there will be an invite sent okay you can see invited successfully default permission have been granted to users according to the group membership you can further configure system permission and advanced settings for user within each service so i am going to show you that so the first thing i will do is uh, you know go to your, go to that mailbox or ask the user or your friend to go to his or her mailbox and then look for that email so you will get an invite email uh, okay you can see there is an email which has come so let me open that email and you will find you are invited to join uipath automation cloud invite from rakesh kumar behra so let me accept the invite so the moment i accept it would allow me let's say your friend is doing this so it will allow your friend to log into the same orchestrator account all i have to do is sign okay sign up with let's say microsoft because i am using the microsoft account okay so the moment uh, i do this what would happen let this app access your info say yes okay so this is one time process so once your friend has signed up i confirm keep and continue okay so right now it would take me to the same orchestrator page but as a different user now as a main uh, admin uh, whom i have invited my other friends right so right now what i'm going to do how do i manage this i mean let's say um, in the future uh, there are many questions in the forum asking how do i remove the user so let me tell you it is possible you know many have replied no it's not possible just change the role and all that but let me tell you it is possible all you have to do is go to the users again the place where you have added the same place you can remove also so this is the uh, you can see that right hotmail.com or the other friend you whom you have added so all you can do is you know so right now if you see um, uh, I, you know it it has been it has been blocked right i am not able to do this from here so the very first thing i you should do is first of all you should go to the services and click on hr i mean your services So once you go to the page, okay, and first of all you see as which user you have logged in. So if you see it here right now, it has logged in me as uh, uh, as hotmail.com. Okay, so what I should do is I should sign out because I'm doing it on the same system. So let me sign out and let me try to log in back with my normal credential with gmail.com. Continue with Google. So, if you see this as an administrator of orchestrator, because I am the primary user, I should have option to remove the user whom I have invited. Okay. So, if I go here and go to users, and if you see it now, now you see this has not been blocked. 
so rakesh kumar behra hotmail dot com i have option to remove did you get it so this is how you remove it but again the next set of question is how do i manage roles for this user right so to manage roles if you go to your service here you have something called manage user so if you click on this one it would directly take you to the users management page if you remember so if you scroll down on the orchestra page right so here you have something called users so this is the user man management page and you can see that rakesh 87 for you hotmail.com has been already added now the other thing i want to do is i want to give some custom roles so for that all you have to do is select this user and here you click on this three dots and here you can click on edit and provide uh, the kind of role that you need for example uh, this is the so here you have the role right number of roles selected so all i have to do is let me give you the custom admin role so in the previous video i have shown you how do you create roles so this is the custom admin role i want to give it to this user and simply click on update okay so with this this user now will be able to you know gain access as per the role that i have defined while creating the custom admin administrator role okay so if you want to see what are the permission given to this role all you have to do is select this and click on uh, edit so if you do this you can see what are the permission been given so if you see it here this user will be having access you know he can view all the assets he can create jobs he can uh, create queues delete queues and all those permission has been given okay so this is how you add users in case you want to remove i already told you how to remove that so thank you for watching this video and uh, please do subscribe to the channel guys in case you have not uh, i do come up with lot many interesting questions that comes in forum and people where they do not find answers um, so i explore and get them for you so please do subscribe to learn more new techniques please do like the videos thank you so much have a wonderful day